experiment tonight. Uh, it's a science show, and we will be doing a scientific experiment. Um, and these experiments are test subjects. Uh, we have two su test subjects, and they are both highly reactive. The first is you, the audience of the Bloomsbury. <laughs> highly reactive. <laughs> Um, the second uh, is the medium of Christmas music itself. Our apparatus uh, is this, the Bloomsbury Theatre. It is also this band, uh, the Pretty Band or whatever Robin's called it tonight. We've not been called <laughs> the origin of the pieces. First of all, we have Steve Thompson on the trombone and laser harp. Incidentally, <laughs> we've talked a lot about geeks tonight. If any of you think you are a geek and you would like a geek off, Steve will be out geeking out uh, everyone out the front. Steve not only built his own laser harp, he also owns and drives a DeLorean. Fact. King of the Geeks! You will not beat anyone here. Uh, next up, our second favorite piece of apparatus is Nathan Hamer on the trombone. We have Holly Weston on the clarinet stacks. We have Ed Ashby on the tuba. We have Ben Hanstein on the drums. And we have myself Steve Putin on the trumpet. Now we are the apparatus. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, we, we are the apparatus for this experiment. Our method is as follows. We will play, we will play one piece of Christmas music. Uh, at the end of that piece of Christmas music, I will measure your reaction to that piece of Christmas music using this. This, a decibel meter on my iPhone. Um, so we will be I will noting, noting that down at the end of that piece. That will, if you like, be our control piece. Um, after that, we will be inflicting a series of experiments um, on that piece of music. Now, this is a double-blind uh, test, so we don't know what those experiments are yet, nor do you. You need to think of them during the first performance of that piece, okay? Um, so please do get creative. They can be anything. They can be musical, they can be physical, uh, they can be mental, uh, or anything in between, within reason. Uh, no cocks outside. Uh, <laughs> Believe me, my, um, that chair faces directly into the wings. And I had to watch that in, kind of in slow motion. It took up one item of clothing at a time. It was like a weird strip show, just for me. It's like just the top first, and then like a sock. And then finally the boxes, I thought, okay, yeah. I mean, I kind of knew where this was going. Anyway, uh, uh, we're going to play the piece of music for you. Here we go. One, two. <laughs> Do you need to note this experimental results? Um, okay, while I'm noting that, we have the first experimental test, please. Swap instruments. Swap instruments. Um, now, that is an excellent suggestion. Um, however, we have done that for, for a couple of nights now, and I feel it's, it's getting to the point where it's getting a bit unfair to do that, because actually we're all getting quite good at the DLF instruments. <laughs> so it's actually, it's not really a fair test. Um, so, I mean, we can do that if no one's got any other suggestions, but otherwise maybe we've got some other suggestions. Lying down. Lying down. <laughs> okay. Including the drums. Blindfolded. 
Sounds quite easy to be honest. <laughs> We're not doing music, music anyway. Uh, we can do that. That will be if you like a placebo. Um... What was another one? Reggae. Reggae. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's do this. <laughs> So we won't be doing it kind of fully bar bar shop style. Thank you very much to the man. 